Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction of two three-digit numbers with carrying. We're going to do this using the vertical format. So let's look at our first example. What is 454 minus 219? 454 minus 219. Looks quite tricky, doesn't it? Let's do the first stage, which is to rewrite this question from the horizontal format into the vertical format. So let's do that over here. 454 minus 219. Nice, neat, straight columns. That is the key to this. Let's label the columns as well. On the right hand side we've got the units. The one next to it is the tens. And finally we have the hundreds column. So that's the first stage done. We have rewritten the question into the vertical format. We are now ready to go ahead and do the calculation. I want to point this out as I always do. We are minusing. So for, we start with a column on the right hand side first. 4 minus 9. Let's do some workings over here. 4 minus 9. That's the units. 4 minus 9. Well, we can't do this because the number 4 is smaller than the number 9. So what are we going to do? We're going to take 1 from the digit 5, which is next to the 4, and add it to the 4. Right, it'll be easier once we show it. So look at digit 5. Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to cross this out. Here we go. Cross out the 5. 5 minus 1 is... 4. And where does that 1 go that we've taken? We place it next to the 4. So the units column has now become 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9. Do you know what that is? That's right. 14 minus 9 is 5. Let's write that down. So we've done the units. Now let's do the tens. The 5 has gone. We're now left with 4. 4 minus 1, well we don't need to do any workings for this, 4 minus 1 is, that's right, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now we're doing the hundreds column. What is 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2 is 2. And we have our answer. 454 minus 219 is 200 and 35. That is correct. Let's give it a nice big tick. Now let's work through our second example. What is 764 minus 389? 764 minus 389. Now again, this looks quite tricky, doesn't it? Let's do the first stage. We're going to rewrite the question into the vertical format. So let's do this over here. 764 minus 389. Nice straight columns. Let's label the columns as well. We've got units. And we've got tens, then we've got hundreds. So the first stage is done. We have successfully rewritten the question into the vertical format. We are ready to go ahead and do the calculation. And we always start with the column on the right hand side first. So let's do this. It's a unit column, it is 4 minus 9. Let's do some workings here. We have 4 minus 9. Well, 4 minus 9 we can't do because the number 4 is less than number 9. So the same as the example at the top, 
we have to take 1 from the 10 next to it. So look at digit 6. We're going to cross this out and take 1 from here. So here we go. We're going to cross out the 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. And that 1 we have taken, we can, we're going to put it here next to the 4. So the units question has now become 14 minus 9. What is 14 minus 9? That's right, it is 5. So let's write this down. Now we're going to do the tens column. Remember the 6 has gone. We've now got 5. It is 5 minus 8. So let's, let's do the workings over here. 5 minus 8. Well, we can't do this one because the number 5 is smaller than the number 8. So how are we going to do this? We're going to take 1 from the digit 7 next to it. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to cross out 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. That 1 we have taken, we're going to put it next to the 5. So the tens question has now become 15 minus 8. 15 minus 8. Do you know what that is? 15 minus 8 is, that's right, it is 7. So let's write this down. So we've done the units, we've done the tens, and now we're going to do the hundreds. Remember, seven. the number 7 has gone. We've now got 6. It is 6 minus 3. What is 6 minus 3? That's right, it is 3. And we have our answer. 764 minus 389 is 375. That is correct. Let's give it a nice big tick. As we have said all along, the key to doing these questions is to make sure that you rewrite the horizontal format into the vertical format that is from this type of question into this. Make sure you do this correctly in nice neat columns. Once you do that, the rest of it becomes relatively easy. So that is how we do subtraction of two three-digit numbers with carrying using the vertical format.